told me I wasn't recording it. Is that now right? it is. Now it is. Are you serious? Now it is. It wasn't. Oh, because there's a green thing. Uh, hi, Adirondacks. Okay, take two. Um, so Mikey and I just arrived here. It's about 3:30. The trip took us about five and a half hours from beginning to end. Uh, we're here at the Austable Inn. Uh, it's a little lodging for tonight and tomorrow night. Uh, really close to the trailhead. We pass it on the way. Uh, the if we time, die. <laughs> if we die, send this to my mother in <laughs> Long Island. Um, <laughs> and. Uh, it's not funny. It's a beautiful day. It's a really beautiful day. And uh, we're hoping that the weather holds up for tomorrow. Looks like it will. Maybe a little rain. Tonight, me and Mikey are planning to go to Keene Valley, uh, sorry, the Mountaineer in Keene Valley to get some gear, and then to the Adirondack Mountain Club High Peaks Information Center to um, to get some information, and then uh, hang out in Lake Placid, get a bite to eat. Oh, get yeah. tonight, well behaved, and then probably get an early, uh, early bed time. Well behaved tonight. Tonight, but just tonight. Only tonight. Just tonight. Night. Anyhow, it's going to be a hell of a uh, trip, so really looking forward to it. And uh, we'll have the camera shooting at times throughout the uh, ascent. And mm. the you, you missed the ride, but it was really beautiful. <laughs> the ride was shit. The ride was nothing. We saw an animal. <laughs> we saw many animals. His name was Michael. <laughs> mm. And the TV. And uh, boots. And all our stuff. Something on the wall. Beautiful. <laughs> We've already gone real comfortable, unpacked and, and everything. Course, so. This thing. I've had this for about, well, let's see. What I is it? I've had it since 1996. It's the High Peaks, uh, the High Peaks Region Guide put to the High Peaks Region. And uh, it's got this great map, which has all the trails, all the trails for the region. And uh, we're basically, let's see, we are starting right about here, the intersection of those two red and white roads. Uh, we're taking the, uh, it, taking the path. Right to here, Trail 31, up to Pyramid Mountain, Gothics Mountain, Armstrong, Holy shit. Upper Wolf Draw, and then back down. This is a real map. And then we're going back out uh, to where we came. So it's a big loop trail. You can't get this on Google. 14.4 miles round trip. Adirondacks, High Peaks region. And um, it's going to be one hell of an experience for Mikey and myself. So I've kind of been training for the last month. And uh, really excited. Speak for yourself, trip. bro. Yeah. All right. Bye. I gotta stop you, I'm sorry. I it's what? It's, the lodge? Yeah, this is it. We gotta take a picture right there at the uh, end of the Oh, okay. We just uh, stopped off at the general store to get some uh, provisions and fruit and stuff. And we met a funny guy. It was fun. We got it held up on the line uh, because I think they were training on how to use the cash register. But, uh... And that, uh, that room right there at the, at the very corner. Well, what's this? Yeah, well, this is an old bed this and is, breakfast. Yeah, where it's Keen Valley Inn. Keen Valley Bed and Breakfast. Jen and I stayed here, uh, I guess, about two years ago, plus a few months. And this is uh, where we came here for our anniversary, or pre-wedding anniversary, before we left for Italy. Beautiful space. Though. And and we're just coming to say hi to the guys. Well, actually, I just wanted to say hey. Really, I'm gonna stop in. They might remember you. Then something really interesting about them being from like San Jose or something. You know, San Jose. Uh, not Mexico, San Jose, California. Uh huh. But um, me and Jen took a really amazing photo on the front porch here. Um, that's in our um, in our living room. We look at it all the time, and um, since we're going to try to replicate it, I guess we're going to like yeah. But instead that's of a good idea. instead of Jen here, it's you. But it's, a, be it's an amazing bed and breakfast. It's a really ancient building, and uh, I'm just going to be here. Step along. With it. What the hell? We've gone back in time. I think. <laughs> this is awesome! Wow. Great view. Yeah, really nice. Wow. So you got the one right in the middle there with the point that's not gone. Yeah, the point. Yeah, it's a rounded point, but it's a point, you know? Yes, I and think we're looking at it. Just to the right of that, that little prominence, that's Iroquois. Okay. Then the valley between those two giant mountains, that's uh that's Indian Pass with Air Wallface Mountain to the right. Um, if you go to the other side of uh, Algonquin Mountain with the scars on the mountain, that's Mount Colden. Oh, I thought that was Iroquois. That, 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 uh, no, no, the one right in the middle, the giant mountain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Algonquin. Okay. Just those little tiny bumps off to the side of Algonquin's peak, Iroquoian boundary. And they called it boundary because they thought it was the boundary between the Algonquin territory and the Iroquois uh, territory. So, so you're telling me that this was inhabited by? Absolutely. Yeah, but they didn't use it that much. It was very inhospitable. But you know, it was the it was the boundary between the two um, tribes. 
to the left with the scars on the face is uh, is uh, Marcy. I'm sorry, it's not Marcy. Is uh, Colden. I've never been up Colden. It's supposed to be a real ass kicker. People climb up that look that face. It's called the trap dike. And uh, <laughs> you're basically you're basically climbing bare rock for about four thousand feet. Uh, it and looks then like it. if you look at the um, the valley in between the giant mass, yeah! that's uh, that's that's it. Indian Pass. I was go I went through there. Let's see, uh, thirteen years ago for my twenty first birthday, and that giant cliff on the right side is called Wallface, the largest vertical cliff on the east coast. Thirteen hundred feet of vertical cliff. Holy moly! Yeah. That yeah, looks massive. Yeah, it is, man. And is that where you uh, you you were on that little ledge? No, that's uh, haystack. That's to the to the left of uh, facing out of, facing the, out of the picture. Life and death situation. It was, man. Yeah, which we hope to not face. You think you throw the bee there? around here? Is this a good bee territory, or is it the grass too high? What do you guys think? Looks good. Yeah. Uh, hello. And we're gonna go to Daniel. He's gonna tell us where we are right now. Oh, okay. We're at the Adirondack Lodge High Peaks Information Center, which is um, kind of like ground zero for hiking in the Adirondack Park. There's more trailheads, trails that lead out of this area than anywhere else in that park. So they have a great lodge where Jen and I stayed at uh, two years ago for our honeymoon. Um, a very rustic lodge right on a little lake. And uh, they also have the High Peaks Information Center, which um, gives you like really up-to-date um, well, up updates about trail conditions and uh, information about anything that you need to know, uh, you know, bear activity or flash floods or anything like that. And then uh, they also have a lot of merchandise that they sell. So me and Mike are going to go inside, buy some cool Adirondack shirts and stuff. And... Recording. Mm -hmm. What's up, Dan? Hey, man. What's going on? Oh, that was a person. I thought that was like a giant carp or something. <laughs> so this is... Um, I don't know the name of this uh, of this body of water, but we're at Adirondack Lodge, uh, a place I was with Jen just about two years ago, where we rented a canoe, got a craft of wine, and just kind of like gently paddled around this beautiful lake. But uh, this is a really idyllic spot, beautiful what, surroundings. What, what, what are you sitting in right now? Oh, I'm sitting in an Adirondack chair in the Adirondacks, which happens kind of rarely these days, since I sit in Adirondack chairs all around the country, but rarely in the Adirondack park. Mm -hmm. uh, this must be a pretty it's, fun moment for you, Daniel. Yeah, this is great, you know, it's just, you know. You just, you just exited the Adirondack Lodge, right? I did. I went in there to go fetch a Marcy bar, which Jennifer knows is the most delicious candy bar on planet Earth. And I know, too. I'm not just saying that to Jen. Um, they had just ran out. <clears throat> she was going to give me one for free. Well, she would have, but because she recognized Jen and I from... Well, maybe, Jen, maybe she was just saying that. But she recognized me from uh, two years ago. We came here for our anniversary. Sorry, for our honeymoon. Anyway. Um... Really beautiful spot. It's a giant it's lake. By, surrounded by mountains. And I mentioned that you can see, I don't know if you can, but the reflection of the lake on the trees. And you sort of have to look at it for a little while, but it's there. <laughs> yeah, really cool. Let me see the thing. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna clean off the uh, the lens here a little bit. How you doing, Mike? How you duty? Yeah. What's up? Nothing. I'm carrying the camera around. What else are you doing besides annoying me? <laughs> I'm just joking, that's not true. That's my job, that's why yeah. I'm here. Right. Uh, well, we just checked out inside. Um, it wasn't the lodge, but it was sort of like the, the like service area where they sell stuff. What do we call that? It was sort they of call it the High Peaks Information Center. Information Center. And we met some cool people up there. Told us that we should pack a lot more water than we thought we needed yep. to. Which I can feel now might be a good idea. It was pretty warm this summer. Even at 6.30 at night. Uh, it's the middle of summer. It's August 3rd. So uh, we picked up a couple t-shirts. Mm -hmm. And we wanted to get Daniel's Marcy Bar. Which mm -hmm. we couldn't get. But we got some cranberry or some raisin mix instead. Which is cool. And it should become very useful tomorrow. We should probably find some rope. Uh, why? I don't know. It might be useful. He just wants rope. He just wants for what? For what do you want rope? He might want some rope. Did you see Boondocks? Come on. All right, all right. See him. Take good opportunity to do a little flip cam. Yeah, we are. We're doing it right now. Where are we, Mikey? We're the Olympic Village. I guess we are. We're in Lake Placid, New York. Yeah, we are. Host of the 1932 and 1980 Winter Olympics. Hey, tacos! What do you want when you come to the Adirondacks? Tacos. In the Alpine Mall. Check it out, man. They use moose meat. Fuck it, hey. Hey, watch it. Excuse the language. Anyway, oh, this is actually a nice little. I don't know. 
you call that. Yeah. Uh, anyway. We just sort of got here, and I've never been to Lake Placid. Apparently, I'm finding out. Beautiful. It's very large. And uh, I just saw White Face Mountain for the first time, and I oh, plan yeah. on heading back there. Yeah. In the meantime, we're going to catch some chow later. I don't know yet where yet. Mikey, at the trailhead of Gothic's Mountain. Uh, it's really not much. It's basically just a, um, you know. It's a parking lot right now. Yeah, it is. And, Which is uh, fine. Sort of expected. We are here just uh, kind of preparing ourselves for the trip. We just had a de decent breakfast at the Newmark Diner. Great yeah. place I've been going to for many years. Decent. And uh, That was incredible. We got served by Big Mama. I wanted to get out of here at 8.30 and it's about 8.25. Typically I'm right on time because that's just how I roll. <coughs> and uh, Had you sleep last night well? Oh, my, actually last night we heard some ladies scream like hysterically in the middle of the night. Yeah, and, you uh, did. Uh, yeah, I did. And he took a spoon <laughs> and slammed the door open, looked outside, and found out, oh, yeah, she's just having a nightmare, so... I didn't take the spoon, but it was, it was true, but she was having a nightmare. Mike, how do you feel about uh, what you're about to embark upon? Uh, I feel I feel preparedness, so it's sort of like a presentation where I'm, I'm not really that nervous beforehand. I feel comfortable. Fan-fucking-tastic. All right. So, here we are. Uh, we're on the lake trail, just past the ranger station where we signed in. Um, what's up, Mikey? How you doing? Hey. Uh, Mikey, our, Mikey and I are on the lake road, and uh, we're just about to pass the, the really beautiful fence that I've been looking at pictures for for about the last 10 or 12 years. <laughs> Here it is. It's a really beautiful um, wooden um, gate. Adirondack um, Mountain Reserve? Yeah, Adirondack Mountain Reserve. There it is. Um, I was telling Mikey that this land was basically bought by a couple of uh, environmentalist pioneers um, back in the 1850s because there's a lot of deforestation in this area. They created the Adirondack Mountain Reserve to preserve one of the most beautiful stretches of land in the Adirondacks. And that there's been an, an easement recently with the state to allow hikers um, access to this area. So Avalanche Lake, a lot of the high peaks surrounding that area. So. Um, we decided to take the, the lake road. The lake, the lake road. Maybe if we get close enough, they get, we still see us both. Yeah, you can see us. What's up? Um, we decided to take the lake road instead of the West River Trail. Okay. The same distance, they go to the same place, except that the. Um, this is still pretty, Dan. Oh, it's beautiful, yeah. They call Ladies Mile, right? Um, lake road is much more direct. And uh, we were trying to save some time, but also. Easier Some terrain energy. too. Yeah, easier terrain. Right? So, considering we're going to be seeing a lot of different stuff, and we're going to be up there mile after mile, the first three miles, we made the choice to take the easier route. Right. Easier, quicker route. Exactly. By the way, Mikey, hey, I just realized that this thing has like a zoom in, zoom out. Yeah, you can do that. All right. Later. Whoa. We've been walking for a little while now. Well, 3.5 miles we did in one and a half uh, hours. So we did a pretty good timing. That's pretty, it's pretty good, yeah. Right. I said we'd be here at 10 and it's two minutes to 10. Again, my sense of time. Right, uncanny. right on schedule. Okay. Our legs are warm. We crossed paths with a few people. One couple that both <laughs> couldn't read the map. They weren't old either. Uh, but, but we just took a split in the trail and down that way I believe was the lake that we we're coming up to. But we're coming up to now uh, a stream and a, a bridge, I think, which is leading us to well, our this path. Is, this is Ossible. This is the end of Ossible Lake leading to Ossible River, so come on down. I mean, you can look at the lake. It's really beautiful. Yeah. Um, There's not that much running water. Uh, I think it's been a drought, so once we cross the Rainbow River, I believe it's called. It's called Ossible River, Mike. Oh. There's something called a Rainbow Falls up there. Once we cross Rainbow Falls, then there's no more running water, they said. There's a good view here of the, of the mountain. Wow, man. We crossed some brook trout. Ooh, baby. Wow, man. Look at that. Sweet. Wow. Aye. Uh, yeah. Sweating. Not bad. Big action on there. Fuck yeah. Oh wait, are you still on the recording? Yeah. Oh, sorry for the profanity. So we are going up. It's kind of hard to see. We definitely head in that direction. Um, a couple it's, feet. It's hard to see now because they're really clustered close together. But uh, yeah, the voyage continues.
sort of begins now. Yeah, I guess so. All right. So. Did you record? This, yeah, this is recording now. Huh? You sure? Yeah. <laughs> this is Mikey and I um, on the WA Weld Trail up to the call, which is kind of like a valley between two adjacent mountains, up to the call between Sawtooth Mountain and Pyramid. Um, time is 10.20. Been on the trail for about a little shy of two hours. <clears throat> and um, Mike, uh, what, are your, what are your first thoughts? This is easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess it is pretty easy. So far, you know, we're both in shape. You know? <laughs> this is a this is a flat zone, but we've done a lot of climbing already, and I'm sweating. We're both sweating pretty good. It's um it's like 10 in the afternoon or 10:20, probably about um, 75 degrees here in the forest because it's much cooler. It's supposed to hit uh, it's supposed to hit 88. Um, so see about that. Here's me. Uh, but uh, we're on our way to the call between Saw Teeth and Pyramid. And um, got some mud. once we get there, we're going to. Uh, uh, what's up, Mikey? <laughs> once we get there, we're gonna go. We're gonna take a little break and um, regroup a little bit. Yep, that's the plan. We are on a split path, I think, uh, some form of a valley. Oh, and then for, for and all we're of leading. Finding poles. Yeah, totally these are good. necessary and awesome. These are good. Mikey and I are loving it. Yep, crossing paths, crossing little creeks, climbing, and just walking to help with all that. So we're probably around 2,000 feet up now. We got another 2,700 feet to go. And you can't hear it most likely, but there's a creek and a waterfall going all the way up and down that we're walking adjacent to and enjoying the sound of. Anything else, Dan? No, just enjoying the mountain greenery. All right. My ass all wet. That looks fine. Doing? doing good. All right, man. We're pretty high. <laughs> yeah, I'd say we're about, I don't know, 2,500 feet maybe. We got a long way to go. Let's see how dry you are, Dan. Oh, I'm not dry at all. I could probably ring the shirt up. <sighs> so good, right. Yeah. My shoulders are a little achy from the path. How about your legs? My legs haven't been this warm feel great. in quite a while. Legs feel great. Your body just sort of starts to get a motion, yep. and you can continue on at that pace. Yeah, they call it like you're running, it's like a runner's high, right? We're looking for a junction uh, with the Saw Teeth Trail. We're going to take a little rest there. Howdy. Get some water. Let me clean you off. Uh, Is that better? This is fun. This is fun! Let's see if we can catch up to the slow poke.
we're getting towards the height of land, I can tell. You can start feeling the breeze a little bit more. You can see uh, scars over there. Probably on, uh, maybe on Gotham. You guys can't. See that? The scars? Yeah, the, uh, the slide. Huh, well I hadn't seen a mountain. To the right. Now I do. Oh yeah. No real animal or bug life up here. And as Daniel mentioned, the foliage is gonna get less and less as we climb. Are you still recording? Yeah. Yeah, to a point where eventually there is no plants. Oh, there are no trees. It's too, it's too high up for the trees to grow. It's all at the outline zone. It can mimic the conditions of uh, alpine zones much further north than like the Yukon. Oh. And up in northern Canada. Well, looks to be a lot of greener in here. <laughs> All right. This part is tough. How you doing, Dan? Coming up. I'm recording. Mm -hmm. it's slow going now. Not going two and a half miles per hour any longer. More like a half mile an hour. It's the steeps. Yep. This is what's ahead. I wonder what it looks like. My face is stunned. I wonder what it looked like. Uh, Alright, what are we looking at, Mike? Arr, this is... Uh, the call, did you call it? Call, C O L. I C -O -L. guess this is the call. Okay, so here we are. We just made it uh, from the dam about uh, another two miles, two and a half miles, and about 1,400, 1,500 feet, maybe more, I think. Sorry, right. I'm losing. Uh, I have a bug. Sorry, there's a bug. I'm trying to shake <laughs> it off. Okay, right here. <laughs> okay, so here, we're going to go this way to Gothics. It's another 1,200 feet. It's kind of hard to see, but that does say Gothics. Gothics. Ascent, 1,200 feet. 1.0 miles. So we have another mile of hiking. Now, and I know from my experience that 1,200 feet, 1,000 feet in a mile is really hard. This is another, this is 1,200 feet. And we also have to go up over Pyramid before we get to Gothics and then descend. So it's into the call between Pyramid and Gothics. So and we're going to be, we're going to be climbing. It says 1,200 feet, but we're going to climb some fall down more than reclimb, that means we're going to be climbing more than 1,200. I don't know. I th actually, no, I think it's 1,200 complete total ascent from Gothic. So maybe it's, maybe it's 1,000 feet, then you go down 200 feet, and then you go up 200 feet or something we like that. We might have to revisit the topographic map <laughs> yeah, maybe. for this one. Anyway, it doesn't matter that how much. was that last stretch of for you, Mike? Uh, I felt pretty good. You yeah. guys saw a bit of it. Uh, at times, it was pretty challenging and, and extended uh, climbs with rocks, but overall, uh, we champed it, mm -hmm. and it uh, feels good. Now this stretch of trail is like supposedly one of the greatest stretches of trail in the whole Adirondack Park, uh, over Pyramid into Gothics, um, rated uh, as one of the best views in the Adirondacks too. So we'll definitely be up there taking some pictures. Just wanted to show you this sign too, uh, from Route 73 in St. Hubert's, where we uh, started from, 5.7 miles, and a little less than three hours. So we got a pace of about two miles per hour, Mike, right? If it's 5.7 in, in three hours, about two miles per hour. That's yeah, it's a good pace yeah, we're yeah. making. And uh, that last stretch of trail was pretty tough. My legs feel great thanks to my crazy training. Um, unfortunately, my shoulders feel really uh, sore from my pack because it's really heavy. But as the day goes on, um, it's gonna lighten. it'll lighten up. We'll eat our food and drink our water. Any last, uh, anything you want to say before we hit the pyramid? <laughs> Maybe. Okay, so. Everywhere. That last stretch of uh, hiking was really rough, it's true. Um, sorry, I'm taking off my... Uh, that last stretch of hiking was really tough, and uh, now we kind of find ourselves on the, uh, on the um, part of the climb leading up to Pyramid. It's and, starting to get uh, cool. It's starting to get cool. We're, so we're kind of hiking on these bare rock faces, and uh, we saw this one, and Mikey's going to approach it now, do a little scrambling, and uh, I'll be behind him. Let's go. Sweet. Yeah, baby. Don't fall. And I'm taking a nice slow piece, Dan. <laughs> Mom, if you're watching this, Michael didn't fall, okay? Neither did I. We're alive. We made it. 
Did it, Holy shit, this is pretty hairy actually. This is pretty sweet. Yeah. I was just telling Michael that um, the rock made, that makes up the Adirondacks shit, careful Mikey, okay, is a northosite. A northosite is a really sticky rock. You should probably have both in one hand at that point because you need, you need your hands. That doesn't make much sense. All right, let me join him. Indeed, it is very sticky rock. It's very sticky. Holy crap. Oh. This is what Michael was just looking at. Pretty insane view here. You're looking at, uh, looks like giant mountain across the way. The big one. Wow. Where does the trail, dope. oh, the trail goes right up behind us. Pretty dope. Pretty dope. This is the first actual view. This is the first view we got. Sure. From all the climbing we did. Yeah, that's probably, that looks like giant across the way that we're looking at, the big one. Um, there are all these. Right in front of us. Faces. Yeah. Which is pretty much what we're on. Yeah, we're on, this is the little one. slide. Um, yeah. Beautiful. These get so steep that uh, heavy rains come and just wash all the vegetation off of the, off of a, of a slope. All that's left is this bare rock and they're called slides. All right, Mikey, we're going to continue on, all right? The ascending pyramid, we're facing copious slides. This is not one so atypical. And uh, I just climbed it. Dan suggested using these roots to the right. Wow, he's doing pretty good. That was the easy part. Let me move. Well, we should videotape more off. All right, man. Daniel's drenching sweat. We are about ready to summit Pyramid, the first of potentially four peaks today. Uh, it's been a struggle getting up these last uh, t um, last mile, but uh, we're almost there. So, sorry, there you are. I think this is it. I don't this think has so. been, it's gotten tough. We put away our, our poles. walking sticks, our poles, poles. in the back. Yeah. And oh, well, Mike, oh, shit, that's about to open. That, that knot I made uh, must have came off. All right, take two. Here we go. Some Summoning of Pyramid, we hope. Cheer, cheer. We're very top. We're very close to the summit, we can tell, because we see the sky coming very close. The trees are very short, and we are fucking exhausted, too. So <laughs> hopefully it comes soon. Pretty good. All right, Mikey. All right, let's do it, Danny. Let's do it, man. Top guy. He was right, I think. I think Mike was right. Oh no, to the right, Mikey. That's a lookout, but this is this is the uh, this is the, whoa. Okay, I think Mike was right. We're at the peak. I thought we had a little bit longer to go, but indeed, here we are. This is about six miles, six and a half miles from the beginning of the trip, and here we are. No oh, shit, man. Wow. Not bad. Not bad at all. We did it. <laughs> so and that look. looks like this is our path. Oh man, I think I no, see. No, it's it. actually that's Gothics over there. We're not even on. We're, Gothics is that With over that there. With that giant slide on. Yeah, the that's face? Gothics. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that, maybe that could be something else actually. Maybe this is it. No, no, you're right. See, actually, I can see the people on Gothics. So what the hell is that, man? That's a tall ass mountain over there. Yeah, it is. It looks like Marcy in the background. You can see it through the trees. Yeah, well. Wow. wow, that's great. Not bad. All right, man. Let's um. My legs are not we're torched take, yet. We're gonna take a but load I could off. Probably use uh, an apple. Yeah, definitely. Awesome. All right, bye bye. All right, Daniel. Time to get fish. I'm gonna give you the video from here because what's behind me is pretty redonkulous. Um, that over there, I'm zooming into his Pyramid Peak. That was awesome. There are a couple guys up there. We made it to the top. And it's got a beautiful view of the mountain that we're trying to peak right now, Gothics. And of Mount Marcy and other parts and other peaks. We took a little rest there. Now we're just catching a quick breather before climbing up. We're pretty close to the ascent. So I'm going to hand it over to you, Dan. Uh, all right. This is what Mikey got ahead of him. Me too, but Mikey first. I'd like to. Pretty much like a... 